Hello there, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. You know the drill by now. This is one of my quick fire Q&A sessions where I will just throw uh, an answer to an, e uh, an email or a, a comment that's been left on my channel, a question in effect. Uh, and I encourage people, if you would like me to give you a response to a question you may have about the sartorial world, about etiquette, manners, anything at all, me, I'll answer anything you like. Throw that question in either into the comment section or find my email address in the About tab on the main YouTube page and I will answer your question in due course. And I trickle these in amongst my ordinary content just to keep the engagement going and us having a nice chat. Apologizing for the sunglasses today, it is a brutally hot early summer morning here in England and uh, the sun is glaring so I need the specs. It's not that I'm not trying to look into your eyes, I can't, it would be blinding. But today's question comes from the Dirty Pigeon. Good name, sir. Uh, and it's rather simple. How do you maintain a healthy interest in style and personal care without leaning into vanity and materialism? Now this, I saw this question and I thought to myself, this is a question upon which we could converse for some time because I often find myself in conflict with this idea of being well-dressed and buying and you know acquiring and maintaining and looking after clothing which um, is expensive and is it really necessary in the modern world? One could argue not but still you know I like to dress well so I keep buying things. I keep buying shirts when I see them in thrift stores. Um, I would buy a pair of shoes a couple of times a year. I don't need them. Believe me, I've got more shoes than I could need for the rest of my life, uh, easily, maybe two lifetimes, mostly because I buy them inexpensively from YouTube, YouTube, oh, that's where we are, eBay, and I do them up over time and, uh, you know, I end up with this expansive collection of shoes, which rarely wear now because, you know, the nature of society in which we live. And I do think to myself, you know, I have this wrangling of guilt. Why do I keep buying stuff? Why am I always looking at clothes? Is it sensible? Is it practical? I have nowhere to store it. Every so often I have to sell things off or give them away. And I wrangle with this sense of, you know, it's the wrong thing to do in this. It's a materialistic mindset. But the way I keep myself straight and, you know, on a path of righteousness when it comes to the questions you've asked of vanity and materialism. Basically, I try to stay balanced in the real world in which I inhabit, all right? I don't walk around the streets wearing a cravat and a boutonniere on a daily basis. There's the old expression, pick your battles, yeah? I choose the way I dress for the situation that I am going into. I never seek to turn heads by looking ridiculous. All right, for me, it's all about, and I've used this expression many, many times, I aim to be the best dressed man in any room that I'm in, regardless of what that room is. All right, if it's a casual room, when I'm just going out to the pub for a drink with friends, or whether I've got a job interview, or whether, as I do in my day job, I'm giving you know a, a presentation to people. I want to be the best dressed man in that room and I want people to look at me and not even realise that I'm the best dressed man in that room until they focus their attention. I don't want them to look at me and say, look at this guy, what's he dressed like? You know, why is he wearing a cravat in a room today where nobody even wears a tie? You stand out like a sore thumb, you look somewhat eccentric and, you know, as you say, vanity would easily creep in. Now, I know the counter argument is that, you know, you should dress in the way that you see fit and don't care what other people think. You dress for yourself and nobody else. And I support people who take that stance, I have to admit. Personally, yes, I would like to wear a bowler hat more often. I would like to wear a Homburg hat in the winter time. And if I did so, I would absolutely be the only man in the town in which I live of 90,000 people. 
I hasten to add, who would probably be dressed like that. So I pick my battles very carefully. I will wear a bowler hat, but when I'm wearing the accompanying clothing that looks entirely appropriate, an overcoat, say, um, I, or when I'm visiting London, right? In London, it's a huge metropolitan city. It's probably the most sartorially grounded city in the world. You can wear anything. All right, you can wear a fabulous bespoke suit down the street on a Tuesday morning. You're going to fit in with everybody else. You could wear a latex penguin suit at nine o'clock on a Monday afternoon. You're not going to look out of place. It is a very cosmopolitan city in which all tastes are represented in the population and accepted by those around them. Here, though, where I live, 180 miles away from London, it's not that case, right? If I walk down the street in a bespoke suit, people would be looking at me thinking, who the hell is that? Where's he going? Is it a funeral? You know, is he a, is he a federal agent about to make an arrest? Uh, you know, certainly if I wore that latex penguin suit down the street, I'd probably be arrested by the time I'd walk 50 meters because it would be so outside the ordinary that people would be concerned by the unusualness of it. So when I think about how do I stay away from excessive vanity and materialism? Um, I do keep a grip on the things that I have in my possession. All right, first of all, I've got too many uh, shirts. I've got too many pairs of shoes. I know that. And I often say to myself, before I buy another pair, I will let a pair go. One must leave before a new pair comes in. And I kind of stick to that ideology. I will not just keep buying and buying and buying. I've got only so much room to store my shoes. I know when that shoe rack is full, it's time to let something go if something new is going to come in. And I look at the things that I haven't worn them for the longest. So if I've got a pair of shoes that I haven't worn for two seasons, I'm probably not going to wear them because there are other shoes which are drawing my attention. I can let them go and then look to bring something else into the collection. When it comes to shoes, of course, you know, when you've found the shoes that you really love, you can maintain them, keep having them resold, uh, refurbished by the factory. If you've bought a good pair, which can have that service applied to them. So in that regard, you know, materialism, buying good actually is, um, is very much uh, something part of, you know, keeping uh, items in circulation for much longer, keeping it in circulation because you can repair good things when they come to the end of their you know, they're, they're working life. You can have a new soul. A cheap pair of shoes, you can't do that. So you're going to throw them away. It's less materialistic to buy good things that can be repaired than cheap things you have to throw away. Uh, and as I say, when it comes to vanity, I just keep a balanced view on life. I seek the counsel of others, that's for sure. And I have the counsel whether I want to seek it or not, because my wife will say to me, you're not going to dress like that, are you? Now, whilst I don't always take my wife's advice, I take it her advice under advisement because if she's saying that and she's an ordinary person what might other people think and then I take a look at my ensemble of clothing again perhaps I should just take the boutonniere off because it's a little bit too much on this occasion I will use advice from others to tailor what I'm wearing and to be honest the goal is just to remain the best dressed man in the room that's all I'm aiming for it doesn't mean to be the best dressed man in the room times 10, all right? All I need to be is better dressed than the other men in the room. I don't have to go step and step and step above and, you know, look as if I'm going to a fancy dress party dressed as a, uh, you know, a, a spiv from the Second World War or, uh, you know, a socialite from 1960s New York. All I'm doing is dressing in the modern era just one tier above everybody else. That's my goal. Nothing more than that. I don't want to be a spectacle. I just want to be recognized and respected for having taken an effort in my clothing. I hope that's answered the question that you posed. It's a question I could talk about for a long time, far longer than in a quickfire response. But I hope my sort of thoughts and the ideology I've put across have been of some use. Just keep a grip of reality, take the advice of others, and set your goal just one step above the next best dressed person and you will have achieved your aim. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Click the red button if you want to see more. If you want to support the channel, you can buy us a coffee. The link for that is in the show notes below. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves.